1. Traveling plays a significant role in the development of an artist. It exposes him to new ideas, styles and techniques. It allows him to visit galleries where he can see masterpieces created by renowned artists, attend workshops and meet artists. I was fortunate to experience a fraction of it but it did enrich my life. These are some of my works of art which I have done over the years for personal enrichment and the motivating inspiration behind them. 2. The hustle and bustle of Empress Market in Karachi seen on the left was painted in the company of fellow artists from Karachi School of Art in the sweltering heat of the summer in the mid-1960s. The painting of the shrine is a recent painting done from an old photo. I first saw the shrine in mid-50s and since then it has been etched in my memory. 3. Labor Movement in Karachi I was asked to make a sculpture for Labor Movement in Karachi to celebrate May 4th Labor Day by Labor Union of that time. I studied the laborers for some time then came up with the statue. It gave me good reviews in all major newspapers of that time. This statue stood in Karachi School of Art for many years and then mysteriously disappeared while I was in USA. Pakistani laborers were poor and uneducated and were exploited by local contractors in the city. Please notice the thin and muscular build of these beautiful souls. 4. Every face has a distinct personality and story and sculpting a face in three-dimensional form was a rewarding and challenging artistic activity for me. By sculpting a face, one can develop a sense of form, space, and creativity, as well as improve one's hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. It helps to appreciate the beauty and diversity of human faces, and how to respect the cultural context of portrait sculpture. 5. The rich tapestry of cultures in the four regions of Pakistan has produced distinct facial features which are well represented in the face and physique of people. Artists can exploit these in their portraits. 6. Painting nature opened my eyes to the intricacy and beauty of the natural world. It provided me to express my human connection and emotions. It helped me to appreciate its value and strive for its preservation. It improved my creativity, skills and rewarded me with a source of relaxation and personal fulfillment. 7. Living in Colorado I developed an immense love and respect for the American bison, buffalo. To me it is a symbol of the American West. It has the attributes of strength and power, endurance and tenacity, and connection to nature. Lion is a well-recognized symbol of strength and power and I tried to capture the essence of these traits by painting in two different styles. 8. I had the privilege of knowing Khan Saheb Mehdi Hassan an iconic singer of the Indian subcontinent. I had to use reference photographs for making his bust. I unveiled it in Denver, Colorado 1988. Casting in bronze was done in Denver at Fed Day Bronze Works. I gifted it to his family. 9. Artists love painting birds because of their rich and vivid colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes. They are expressive and graceful, with different postures, movements, facial features. They enhanced my creativity, inspired me to experiment with different techniques and provided me with inspiration. 10. The best way to soak in the beauty of nature is to find a place where there are rocks, waterfalls, foliage and listen to the water navigating its way through the cracks and crevice. Painting focuses one to see the colors, texture, and learn to appreciate the gift of the creator. 11. I love painting waterfalls because they capture the beauty, power and movement of nature. Painting an impression of falling water by blurring the edges, adding mist and spray, and contrasting the hard rocks with the soft water gives me the inspiration of life manifested in so many varied forms. 12. My favorite birds. I painted them two to three years ago. Scrub Jai. It is the most common bird where I live. Red Cardinal which is prevalent in northeastern United States and Tohi which I see every morning hanging out in my bird feeder. 13. Texas Longhorn Cattle is a beautiful, hardy creature and as the name suggests it has impressive long horns. They have a historic significance and are a spectacle to watch on a farm owing to the coloring variety with solid colors, brindles, patches, or speckle. I painted it to bring out those attributes in a loose expressionistic style. 14. My love of bees and butterflies is not only for their beauty but their importance to the ecosystem. They are a barometer of how well as humans we are doing to protect our food production by pollinators. We need to have more organic gardens with plenty of flowers to protect them. 15. I admire the beauty and richness of art in, in the Indian subcontinent. 
its people, and sculptures especially from the Chola period and the architecture on the facade of the temples. I tried in vain to replicate their bronze techniques with limited success and ultimately had to cast by modern techniques, photo middle sculpture. 16. Painting birds is a challenge because they do not stay still but reference photos are a great help. I had to borrow these from copyright free resources. Photographing a subject is a learning experience since you are looking at the composition, colors, texture and the pose of the subject. I became a better photographer in the process of looking at subjects to paint. Colors are the smiles of nature. Both are creative and complement each other. They are pacifiers of the soul. 17. Painting flowers gave me an opportunity to study and play with light and color. It was a way to celebrate the beauty of nature and create something that sparks joy and awe. They also awoke feelings, such as love, passion, renewal, innocence and sorrow. They are also visually appealing and diverse in form, color, and texture. 18. Khan Sahib Mehdi Hassan is an iconic figure of Pakistan known for his singing. Also was a personal friend and favorite singer. I unveiled his bust in Colorado 1988 in Denver, Colorado. 19. Khan Sahib Ustad Amanat Ali Khan another iconic figure in music of Pakistan. I did not meet him but made his bust from photographs. I showed this to his brother Ustad Hamid Ali Khan in Seattle, Washington. 20. During 1971 Pakistan-India War I served as a physician in Chor Pakistan-Rajasthan War and in peacetime. I sketched this Sindhi gentleman and later painted it. 21. My favorite president Jimmy Carter once saw ex-president Jimmy Carter at a book signing event in Denver, Colorado late 1980s at Tattered Cover Bookstore. I was so impressed with his personality. I painted it in an impressionistic style. My co-worker saw it and loved it so much and I still do not know if it was for my painting or for his personality. I gave this to him as a gift. It adorns his home with my name on it. 22. Marshes attract me for the vegetation, color, reflections and visiting birds perched on the branches. They are also great for the ecosystem protecting us from harsh storms and filtration of pollutants. Edmunds Mass is one of many marshes in our area. 23. Art and music share common elements such as rhythm, harmony, balance, contrast and expression which form the foundation for their creation. They both have the power to move people and evoke emotions, and they both require creativity, skill, and passion to create. A tribute to my Ustad Joginder Virdi a teacher and proponent of classical Indian music. Epilogue Painting nature opened my eyes to the intricacy and beauty of the natural world. It provided me to express my human connection and emotions. It helped me to appreciate its value and strive for its preservation. It improved my creativity, skills and rewarded me with a source of relaxation and personal fulfillment. Thank you very much for visiting and being a part of my transcontinental journey in the pursuit of finding happiness and solace. May the Almighty bless you with happiness and love of nature.